Hey everyone, this is Eric again with VBAString.com coming at you with a video about how to delete rows in your VBA on your on your worksheet in VBA with based on criteria. So I'm going to show you two different ways of doing this and you may not want to do this with uh, uh, with using VBA but uh, you may want well, to show you how much easier it can be. Maybe you want to implement it in some of your other projects and you want an automated way of deleting things. So actually this was also based on a question I came across. Uh, so here if I if you look at if you look at the screen here, um, the the natural way of, well, the way you would do this with the GUI, is I would look down through my list here and I'd basically look at the length of the value in column A and if the value in column here I'm using the len function and I'm saying equals len A2 so equals len A2 <clears throat> and it's giving me a value of 3 and then I want to delete anything with a, a uh, that's less well two or or less well anything yeah two or less so i would basically go down here and then i can go to my i can filter this list out and i can get anything one or two here i'd go to data and filter and uh, what well, identify these as part of my data sheet and then i could go into here and say one and two and then go ahead and OK, and then delete these. Okay, so so I could do I could do that, and that's fine. Now I'm going to show you all how to do this with VBA. If I here I have the same list of my other worksheet, I have VBA way. Again, you can get the code at vbastring.com and make sure that you click the subscribe button and like this video thanks okay back to the video here we have a list of numbers the same numbers basically and but we want to do this in our programmatic way so I'm going to alternate F11 to bring up my screen and here I'm to have this little procedure notice on my my left side of my screen I have I have these um, the code for my two worksheets and then I have a a module and so I'm inserting a new module right click insert module and then I'm going ahead and stepping through my rows on my VBA way sheet so here I'm gonna uh, put a breakpoint and I can launch this from a command button you can view some of the other other videos about how to put a how I put a command button or go out to vbastring.com and I have uh, information about how to do that and so here I'm going here and I'm putting a breakpoint and I'm just running the running the code okay my cell value I'm getting it the cell value out of out of here and I could start out with two maybe that's better but I didn't so here I have length and it's not equal to two anyway so it's out of a, a concern for me the cell value of the next one is 700 and the, the I'm using the same len function to get the to get the length of whatever the cell value is it's three so the length is not equal it's not less than and it's not equal to two so it's not one or two again remember um, I could have filtered it just like this but I'm not I'm just going through I'm just going through these values and I'm testing testing the land without having the land function messing up the sheet and maybe you want to do this behind the scenes and you don't want it intrusive nature of the of the len function showing up on your screen so this is good processing on the back end that's good okay so i'm putting a breakpoint here so we can speed through the code because 
I think at row by bang. Oh, here I have uh now let's see what the length the value is eighty-eight. So the cell value is 88, and it's on row number 549. So we'd be waiting a long time if we would have stepped through it. So here, select. What what happens if I look back at my worksheet? I'm selecting row 549. Remember, this is happening just in the in the code, and bang, I'm deleting it. So 549 is gone. Okay, these belong become the everything I was 549 moves up a notch. And then I'm going down. Notice that these these decimals, okay? This is kind of interesting. The the number is we're looking at the len value. So these are actually a len, even though they're len. We could say less than, you know, have a have a num less than, uh, less than fifty one. This would fall in the category, or less than uh, eighty one. But we we looked at the that the len the length of the value. And if I go ahead and speed through this, bang, and I'm gonna go ahead and have a message box indicating that the process is done. It's one thing I didn't do. I'm just I want to indicate that the process is done. So in here I'm gonna accept the message box and let's go through. Boom and let's see when it finishes it. I'm going down. Oh, now it's done. Great. And I can also, if I want to be real fancy, I can count up the number of rows it deleted. Or I went to row fourteen thousand four hundred eighty-seven, and fourteen thousand four hundred eighty-seven up here. So, so I went down through a considerable number of rows, and I deleted them. So that's how you delete rows in VBA based on their criteria. So the criteria was the criteria could be anything. But the criteria in this case was that the the length of the value of the cell, the length of the cell value is two or less than two. All right, get the code at vbastring.com. And until the next video, have a great afternoon.